you are relieved of duty. Now, go enjoy the party. Do not take this assignment lightly. The evil imprisoned here must never be allowed to escape. Prince Phobos must never escape. Not on our watch, great mage. Your power helped bring down this tyrant. Our strength will help you keep him down. Help me! Let me out! I want my mommy! You fool no one, monster. Oh, please, Miranda. Everyone knows you're a shapeshifter. You're only embarrassing yourself. Embarrassing yourself is something you know all about, eh, folks? <laughs> Sorceress, but you will never free Phobos! <laughs> you seem to be in no position to give orders, Vapid. Wait! Where are you going? Miranda, I demand you release me at once! Oh, Master, I would try, but I might embarrass myself. for very long, and I know how much you suffered under my brother. But Phobos is gone now, defeated by the Guardians, by the Rebellion, and by every honest citizen of this world. We have won this day together, and now we are all free! What are you doing? Your Majesty, there's someone here I'd like you to meet. This is Trill. She works in your kitchen. Under Phobos, she risked her life every day, bringing valuable intelligence, and the occasional hot meal, to the Rebellion. Yeah, she saved our lives at least twice. Then she must be rewarded. No, Your Highness. Your coronation was reward enough. Please, Trill, let me give you something. I have one boon. Oh, it would give me great pleasure if you would wear this. It is yours, Your Highness. It belonged <sighs> to your mother, Queen Weira. When she died, I hid it from Phobos, hoping that one day... Oh, Trill, thank you. I'll never take it off. My people, the work of rebuilding Meridian will begin tomorrow. But tonight, we party! <laughs> Watch out, girls. I'm smoking tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, being a guardian is tough, but it does have its perks. Excuse me. <gasps> You're one of the guardians. You helped free us from Phobos, right? Well, yes. I guess I did. Could you tell us the story? Uh, us? Uh, 
sure. <laughs> wow. This sight saddens me more than I can say. Fear not, Gargoyle. I won't betray you to the new Queen's wrath. I remember a fearsome warrior who pursued those foul guardians, but who suffered as no creature should ever suffer. The guardians did this to you. Should they not suffer for that crime? And should you not crave revenge? Then I may be of some assistance. Quintessence! What do you mean you're not coming back to Heatherfield? Wake up, Rebel Leader! The good guys won! You're out of a job! Cornelia, it's my duty to help Queen Elyon. Many of Phobos' minions are still at large in Meridian. You're choosing Meridian over me? Try to understand. Oh, I understand. I just don't care. <laughs> it's Blunk I'm really gonna miss. Blondie, no worry. Blunk visit Earth soon. <laughs> Great. Don't be silly. The whole school's been wondering where you went. We sort of spread the rumor that you and your family were on vacation, seeing the world. Well... This world is gonna be really lonely without you guys. We'll come visit soon. You better. We promise. This should be far enough away. First things first. Now, let's go home. Shell Beach. You got us back to Heatherfield. Cool. Takes some getting used to, huh? <laughs> no kidding. But I want to, Will. I want to know everything about both your lives. Why don't we all go back to the Silver Dragon and fill Matt in? Can we take a rain check? Truth is, I am really tired. Oh, exhausted. <sighs> At least it's all over. Phobos is no longer a threat. About time. We can finally get back to our normal lives, right? Right. Recover a little anonymity. Uh, Will, the portal? Oops. Wouldn't want anyone from Heatherfield accidentally stumbling into Meridian. Or vice versa. Mission accomplished. much? Hey, Lynn, Irma, thank goodness. I think someone was following me to school. Did it have those bony horn things? Two legs or a tail? No, it was a guy. Or he looked like a guy, anyway. Well, where is he now? He kept walking. All right, so let me get this straight. A guy was walking behind you, and then he kept walking. Uh, yeah. Scary. I get it. I was just being paranoid. Oh, you were so saved by the bell. Are you kidding? I... Wait, Tarani, what are you doing? Didn't you hear the bell? Yeah, I heard it. 
But it's such a beautiful morning. I think I'm gonna build a snowman. Tarani Cook, late for class? Miss Uber student? Nah, don't think Just so. Just go ahead. She'll crack in five minutes. Three. <laughs> Yes, Tarani, you're here, you're late, and you've disrupted my class. I'm ready to face the consequences of my actions, Mrs. Rudolph. Consequences? Tarani, you're a good student. I think I can let you slide this once with a simple, don't let it happen again. Yes, ma'am. Three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Mighty have fallen. How can you now tolerate being hunted by the very rebels you once tracked? Wouldn't you prefer to turn the clock back? Wouldn't you prefer vengeance? Then she explodes into class like a fiery comet. Tarani? I don't believe it. It wasn't that bad. Of course, if it was me, detention for three weeks. Oh, yeah, minimum. No doubt. See you next year. But not our Tarani. She's off scot-free. She's a good girl. Everyone's allowed one mistake. Not like she'll ever do it again. Good afternoon, girls. Yes, Miss Cook? Uh, Tarani, you okay? Food fight! <laughs> I'm disappointed in you. You have always been such a well-mannered, conscientious student. As far as I can recall, this is the first time I've seen you inside this office. I I'm sorry, ma'am, and I'm ready to face my punishment. <sighs> well, in light of previous good behavior, I think we can forego. No, no foregoing! At least one day's detention, please! Ah, uh, my pet. You were a thing of beauty, a whispering lake of sand that preyed upon the weak, until the Guardians turned you into this frozen dish. Well, revenge is a dish best served cold. Quintessence. <laughs> Would you like to taste of that dish, my walking sand pit? My first detention. I think my permanent record is scarred for life. Just a guy waiting at the bus stop. Okay, so it's the same guy, but still. Stay back! You don't know who you're dealing with. Oh, I think I do. Did you think?
think a bit of winter was gonna save you? They don't call me Frost for nothing. Uh, let go of me! <laughs> Without your guardian powers, you don't stand a chance. But please, prolong the battle. Perhaps we'll attract an audience. I thought that might discourage you. Now listen, I haven't found your leader, the red-haired one. Lure her to the cave, but in human form and without the heart. I won't! You will, because I have the other three. And if you fail to obey, you'll never see them again. After sunset, don't be late. to be praised for your determination, Raythor. After the Guardians framed you for a crime you did not commit, you have climbed for months to escape this pit. What is it you seek in the world above? Vengeance. <laughs> Come on, Tarani, what's the big surprise? I can't tell you yet. If I told, it wouldn't be a surprise. It's just inside the cave. Joining them. The heart! It's gone! I'm so sorry. You're sorry? What do you mean? I slipped it off his chain when you weren't looking. <laughs> you betrayed us? <laughs> I had no choice. Are you all right? So far, so bad. This sphere is the last bit of magic I had from Prince Phobos, but it will do to extract his vengeance. And mine. <gasps> Soon, Guardians, it will crush you into the slime that you are. Are you happy now? Pretty happy. Yeah. Thanks. Guardians, unite! Wait! No! Not without going through us. You know, I'm totally okay with that. <laughs> Go, Crimson! Charge! <laughs> And lesson two, pay close attention to lesson one. I haven't lost yet. Ready for lesson three? The bad guys always lose. Water! Sure, no one sneaks through. Great rescue plan, by the way. Frost never saw it coming. Thanks, but it was Tarani's idea. Wow, you're just full of surprises today. I know. Want to talk about it? I... I guess I've been afraid. Not of Frost, obviously. Of fading into the background. Of becoming anonymous Tarani again. You were never that to us. 
but I was to me. Being a guardian meant I was special, but with Phobos gone, I figured that it was all over. So I started breaking rules. If I got in trouble, well, at least I'd still stand out. You are in trouble if you ever think you're not special again. <laughs> Besides, I don't think we're quite done with the guardian thing yet. Welcome, Frost. I am Nerissa, and I have brought you here to take your rightful place among the Knights of Vengeance. 